What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and we got a special package from Harbor Freight. This is their new 224cc Predator engine. Uh, now this is a basically a stroked out version of a 212. So what we're going to do today is unbox this thing. We're going to look at what differences there is between the 224 and the 212 and we're going to see if it's worth the extra money uh, for you, the consumer. Uh, but big shout out to Harbor Freight for sending this out. We're pumped to see it and we have a full build that we'll talk about in a little bit. We'll talk about what aftermarket parts fit on this and uh, just go through it in depth. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what it's all about. So it comes with the normal owner's manual and a couple of jets and the carburetor seals for the bowl on the carb. Uh, pretty standard uh, equipment. So side cover, just to note, it is like a flat red finish, almost like a, I would say a tractor red. It is a non-hemi style engine, has a black valve cover. But just looking over it from out of the box, it looks identical to a 212, which I would assume because the only big key differences between this engine and a 212 is gonna be the stroke of the engine. Okay, so let's talk about the key differences between the 224 versus the 212. Uh, so the biggest thing is of course the CC difference and where you're getting that is this has a 58 millimeter crankshaft and this has a 55 millimeter. So basically you're buying a 212 that has a stroker crank already pre-installed. Um, the other difference between the 224 is it has more casting, more webbing on the block. So this block is going to be quite a bit stronger than the 212 variants. Uh, a lot of people is talking about the plastic cam gear. You guys probably know the YouTube channel Bill Break and Repeat. Couple sweethearts down there in Texas, and they did. They beat me to the punch. They found one of these locally. We had to actually call Harbor Freight, talk to the boys down at H HF, and get them to send us this engine because we couldn't find one in our area. Um, but you can notice in their video that it does have a plastic cam gear, and people are so getting their panties in a wad over that. It's not a big deal. Most people, you know, we can say 70% of people out there that's putting these engines on go-karts and mini bikes are going to do performance parts. Fire 265 cam, may I add? Uh, they're going to be putting fat daddy cans in this puppy. They're going to be putting that bling bling billet rod and flywheel. So the cam doesn't matter. You could probably beat on this engine for a couple of years without ever having to worry about that cam. Now, would I remove the governor and leave that cam? Probably not. But at 3,600 RPMs, that cam is perfectly safe. So I don't think you should get tied up on that part of the engine. Uh, so is it worth your extra go-kart pennies? Uh, basically $149.99, $189.99. 40 more dollars for this engine and I'm not counting coupons and on sales. I'm just talking about regular everyday prices. Um, so is it worth your extra money for your go-kart or mini bike? I think it absolutely is worth more money because you're getting a block. So if you was to buy this block there, I mean, you could pay close to a hundred bucks for this block. And that's just a block. Uh, if you was by the crankshaft, it seems like I looked it up before making this video, $100 to $130 for a 58 millimeter crankshaft. So you're buying an upgraded engine for $40 more. The labor would cost you more than that to pay a small shop, if you don't want to do it, that is, to put these parts in. So I do think it is a lot better value over the 212. Now the 212 is a tried and true workhorse. We have beat on these things and I've actually never blown one of these up before we've built them, we've revved them to close to 10,000 RPMs. These are tried and true, these are not. So that's the next thing is, we're gonna go through, we're gonna fully build this thing into a crazy animal. We're putting a milled and ported head, some gauge ratio rockers, chrome ollie push rods, billet side cover, piston. Uh, we're gonna do billet rod, billet flywheel. We're gonna do every part we can slap on this old hog and we're gonna beat the Dale out of it, see what happens. We're also gonna build a non-hemi variant of the 212 and compare them. We're gonna build them the same exact way, same head, same cam and everything, and see if we can physically tell a difference because two foot pounds of torque is what you're getting with these extra parts, with the extra crankshaft that is, the extra stroke. And you probably would feel two foot pounds of torque. Are you gonna gain, are you gonna be able to outrun your buddy down the road? You're not gonna get any higher miles per hour on your vehicle by just swapping this engine out. What you're gonna do is take off a little harder, be able to pull them heels a little better and stuff. So. 
You be the judge, and please let us know in the comment section below, what do you think of the 224 versus the 212? Uh, would you buy this? If you was in Harbor Freight right now, buying an engine for your mini bike or go-kart, would you pick this or the 212? I say, you know, go rake your neighbor's yard and get an extra 40 bones and buy this one, because you are getting more at the end of the day. So, and a lot of people is gonna be looking up parts for a 224, thinking there's nothing out there for it. Uh, most of your same parts are gonna work for a 224 that's for a 212. We're gonna break down in the video's description every part that'll work on this. We're talking billet flywheel, cam, side covers, all that stuff. So if you use the links in the video's description and buy the parts, they're gonna work on it. So, uh, tell us what you think. What would you do if you had this engine? Would you buy this engine over the 212? Uh, do you think it's a better value personally? I do. I think it's a lot better way to spend your money for go-karts and mini bikes. So make sure to check out those links. Big shout out to Harbor Freight for sending out this engine. We'll be uh, fully building it and then slapping it on a Trailmaster mini bike very soon. So we're excited to see the outcome. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us. We love you and God bless.